Thanks, Omar. Hope you enjoy. Um, also, um, first of all, thanks for you know Song Ho Kim, fantastic um, work, and also Professor Xiao. Um, you know, this is probably the I can't remember fourth time um, being honored to be here. So thank you very much indeed. Um, so um, when we're discussing about the um, catheter intervention um, in VSD device, uh, VSD closure, uh, we just you know, um, going back on time, um, that the first um, reported um, device that been used, uh, not really the first first report, but but the device that been used uh, um, generally in the U.S. and many parts of the world was the Amplasser PMBSD device uh, from the uh, the Amplasser um, that time. Previously, there was also the the device from Boston, but uh, not really uh, commonly used. But nowadays, um, that PMVSD device from Amplasa has been almost um, distinct, uh, almost um, disappeared, and and been replaced by many kind of devices. Um, I would like to maybe categorize into um, three or four kinds. The first one would be the single disc device, um, something like as you can see here. It looks like uh, actually it's a PDA device uh, in different kind of uh, company making, um, including the Abbott, um, the Cocoon, or the Oculotech, or the LiveTech, or wherever, that having the, 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 the appearance like that. Um, they claim that probably the person who used that, they claim that it may be, um, may be useful for the PMVSD because it lays clamping force and is quite long body. So it means that it may be useful, especially when you deal with a quite a long tunnel uh, defect. Or at the moment, we have a variety of double disc device too. And you know, some of them has been dedicated uh, for the um, VSD. For example, this one, the muscular VSD device from Abbott, or some of them also dedicated to membranous um, area of the defect of VSD. Something like the um, the Lepu from China or LifeTech from China, or the Cocoon membranous VSD from Thailand. Or also, you can use the ADO2, um, you know, off labelly used for uh, closing the VSD very nicely as well. And last but not least, and before, um, again from, from China, Life Tech Company, it's um, so called, uh, they claim that the company claimed that it is multi functional occluder, so it means that you can use this device in variety of the, of the lesions. And that gives you potential of uh, deploy the device either retrogradely or deintegrately. Here, I don't have the time, so please let me know if I'm running out of the time. Um, so, coil, um, also, we've been available using. Um, to close the VSD. Um, that is quite gentle device, but again, it's not that gentle all the way through, but it's uh, a little bit more rigid there, especially if you deal with a big, you know, um, area of uh, diameter of coil here. So it's quite strong, and they may have an issue of residual shunt because it's not fully packed, but it's uh, adjust conform to the anatomy. So that's why sometimes it's not really completely abolished the flow at the beginning. And at just the uh, few more few years back, uh, they also made the so-called hybrid hybrid device. I would like to say that because it looks as if it's uh, it's like a double disc, but not really a double disc. So um, as you can see here, the the waist is quite um, smaller than the 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 proximal uh, part, and that's just uh, would like to uh, address that it may be reduce the radial force at the IV septum in order to avoid the um, the hard block because of that compression uh, force that may cause injury to the uh, AV septal, uh, uh, the conduction system. Um, and then um, with this, uh, you have the LV this quite big, plus six uh, compared to the waist and plus four around here. So indication of VSD closure, I would say that um, in my practice, I cannot say in the international practice because it depends on the situation you have. But uh, for me, if, I, if I'm going to close, I definitely will go for the patient with symptomatic or the evidence of left heart volume overloading or whatever QPQS if you want to measure. If it's more than 1.5, it's quite justified. Uh, but because of that kind of device you're going to use, likely that you have, uh, you know, you have to have some rims in order to avoid the uh, injury to the aortic valve. So that's why if I can choose, I will uh, put uh, either uh, more than two millimeter of the aortic rim, and that's quite safe for me to close. Um, you should not have the mild, uh, you should have aortic valve prolapse more than mild, 
you should not have the aortic regurgitation more than trivial. And of course, you have to, you have to check the uh, conduction system before you, you bring the patient in. Any pre-existing pre either right or left mandibular branch block for me, I will try to avoid it. <clears throat> and I will, I will not try to close the inlet VSD. Well, permanent with inlet extension, yes, sometimes, but not really purely inlet VSD. If the body weighs more than 10, then that should be good. Or in case that for some reason the surgeon is quite unhappy to bring the patient into the bypass surgery to close the defect. Just to show you some kind of example, when you're using this device, uh, you should have enough space uh, between VSD and AO. You, it's likely if you can use it for the tunnel-like uh, lesion like that. So here's the Ocultec PDA device. Or sometimes if you have like, um, you know, window type defect like that, very short um, um, septum in comparison to the diameter of the defect. And then with that, you have to consider about double disc device. This patient also have an issue on the hypertension, palm hypertension. So it's very nicely implanted uh, the muscular VSD device onto very huge VSD. And thanks for Shiva Kumar, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Shiva Kumar from Chennai to allow me to use his uh, presentation. Or when you deal with a uh, quite complex aneurysmal type defect, and you can see it is, is more than one exit. With that, you can use a double disc device very nicely just to covering all of these kind of tunnel and also the um, exits. Or even sometimes you may not be able to use just one device in order to close all of these defect. And as you can see, once again, the aneurysmal type defect and actually is more than one but you can appreciate that um, after we put two devices in, this is ADO2, and then the flow is um, you know, dramatically decreasing. Well, it's not completely uh, occluded at the beginning, but you know, that patient, as always, when I close a defect like this, I need to listen to the murmur. If in the cat lab, I mean on the table, there's murmur less than grade two, I'm happy to just you know, leave the patient back uh, to the ward. But if for some reason, if there's a, uh, the murmur is still there, more than grade two or three, I think that's the thing you need to try to close as much as possible in order to avoid the complication, especially hemolysis. The parrot may address that later on. Um, when you have the limited space near the aorta, you can see that double disc device can nicely sitting without, well, it will touch definitely because you can't avoid it. But at least if you use the device which is soft enough, and you know it's dancing with the um, uh, the aortic valve cusp, and that is quite, quite um, considerably safe, I would say, uh, in order to uh, avoid the complication. Or if you have uh, the, the the lesion, which is quite uh, you know, uh, as uh, Pierre mentioned previously, is like um, is LV to RH1, and that's because partly of the of the defect is involving the tricuspid valve, and that is one of the reasons that you should close because, you know, from Joku Wang um, a few years back and his, his colleague showing that leaving this, it may cause more complication, especially the endocarditis. And with that TR, you can manage very nicely using double disc device, you see, completely abolish the, the TR gradient uh, from, the, from the VSD by using just one device. Or if you deal with a small issue, uh, not small issue, but small babies, but big issue on the uh, VSD. Um, for example, this patient, we can use the double disc device in order to uh, treat the patient well, and you can get out of the trouble without, uh, you know, without the problem, and then, and, then, and then the surgeon is quite happy to not, uh, to going back to the theater in order to just treat this VSD. And here's the um, result of the chest X-ray showing that this patient can be safely treated um, by the VSD device. And coil, if you're going to use that, it's likely that you use it uh, when you deal with the aneurysmal un um, defect. And as you can see here, there are multiple exits again, aneurysmal type. And this patient eventually, we need to put three coils uh, into that kind of pocket in order to, uh, to abolish uh, the flow. Uh, that coil can be also used uh, uh, when you deal with the limited space near the aorta. And thanks for Tin showing that um, when we use this device, again, um, it's dancing with the aortic valve. Um, I myself try not to do it because I cannot completely guarantee in the future how does it look like, uh, you know, five years, ten years from now. But uh, what um, by by personal discussion with Tin and Hugh and and, and doctors who 
um, use uh, the coil or the soft device to close the outlet VSD like this, um, the AR is um, not uh, an issue. I mean, it's um, going uh, less and less and not progressing more. So how about the hybrid device? Um, it means that um, you may use the, in a variety of the defect because it's quite new, so I cannot completely say that uh, it's indicated in most of the cases, but I just want to show you that this patient, this is quite a big VSD, showing that um, the defect is very membranous and very close to the um, aortic valve, but not too close. So eventually, because of it, look, it looks like a window type, so we decided to put um, the Oculotech PMVSD device 8 by 12. 8 means the diameter at the waist, and 12 is, is it means that um, the diameter there. So as you can see here, it looks very nicely sitting with the very minimal uh, residual shunt. So it may be useful in the endotype defect. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, um, device parade, I would like to say that now um, it's very useful um, um, device available uh, to close VSD uh, in many parts of the world, especially in Asian country. And each device um, has its own character, definitely you need to understand it. And you have to also understand, as um, Professor Pierre um, mentioned previously, that um, each VSD has its own personality as well. So what does it mean? It means that as the operator or interventionist, you need to tailor-made your device in order to you know, um, adapt with that uh, kind of uh, difficult uh, or the uh, anatomy properly. So you are like a, you know, a, a tailor. Thank you very much indeed.